Um, it's an innovative platform designed by and for teachers. Came to me was one of seven PBS sites that did the beta test for this service, so we got feedback directly from teachers and tested both the user interface and the content with teachers, so that they would give us the the information about what teachers are looking for and what the best uses and ways of using the service are. So that's why I think you're going to find this pretty easy to use. Does anybody, um, one person has already told me that they're tech challenged. Anybody else really doesn't use technology much at all in the classroom? Okay, so if you need any special help, you can call us. What we'll walk you through. Can you come take residence? <laughs> <laughs> this is free. This is the good news. This is a free service for you guys. Uh, there is a custom service that's a little fancier with some other features, but I, I probably won't be needing those, at least not in the beginning. And there's professional development available, which is what we're doing here today. The content is what makes this different from other services you may have uh, seen or used, Discovery Media, United Streaming. This is just a little sample of some of the places where the content comes from. So NASA, NOAA, of course PBS, programming like Nova Science, American Experience, PBS NewsHour, but we also have the Library of Congress, National Geographic, National Archives, Smithsonian, a lot of other places are contributing to PBS digital media. This is what's inside. So um, you'll see that there's a big chunk right here, 10% is pre k to two. Of course, we're PBS and Sesame Street, we have a library company. But the largest part is grades 9 through 12. That's that 43% purple piece of the pie. Uh, this is grades 6 through 8. That's about 30%. Uh, 3 through 5 is about 14%. That 3% there, it says 13 plus. That's really professional development modules. So you can find things like um, people discussing what it's going to be like to transition to the Common Core Standards. This is what kind of media is in there. Can everybody see okay? We don't need to turn off the lights or anything. Okay, um, there's about 5% there. I think I saw a laser here. Yeah, there you go. About 5% is audio because we have NPR as one of our contributors. Um, these are documents, 22%. That could be lesson plans, activities, um, primary source documents, other things. Um, these are images, so JPEGs, things like that. This is the big chunk, as you would expect, videos. But there's also, and this is one of my favorites, interactives. And that's where the kids can actually interact with what's online. 1% um, is self-paced lessons. And those probably are also um, professional development. So here's the subject areas. This is why I was asking you. Um, of course, being PBS, it's pretty STEM heavy right now. So here's the science stuff right here. 47% is science. Here's the professional development here. Uh, this is math, about 9%. Um, language arts, about 15%. Um, this other, I don't even know what that is. This is arts here. And here's social studies. This will kind of get a little more evened out as time goes by. I mentioned that there are some overviews about Common Core. And um, these are the links. I can send these via email if you're interested. What they are, is they're from Massachusetts, and they're little video tape discussions between teachers about how it was to transition or how they're planning to transition to the Common Core Standards. So, if we had access to computers right now, I'd have to go on. Um, this is our contact information, and I'll pull this up again before we leave so you know how to get in touch with us. And so, right now, I'm going to go live onto the site and show you how to use it. So here we are. This is New Mexico PBS Learning Media. So this is KNME's version of the library. Now you'll see that it gives you two options to sign up, and that's where you will sign up to register and get your own account. It's real simple. You just put your first and your last name, decide on what username you want to use, decide on what password, put your email in and your zip code. Then you have a drop down selection that will tell the service what kind of teacher you are and what you do. Then you can look at the terms of use and sign up. 
All of this is free. Since I already have an account, I will go ahead and log in. Again, this is my email. cultures around Santa Fe, and this is one part of that. They have a fourth grade narrator who's very cute. Um, and so it's about um, Native American music, and they filmed it in Tent Rocks. Cleveland Middle School Energy Stars, and this is um, a K&ME production. Um, we do Ask a Scientist videos, where a scientist takes one minute to talk about why he or she became a scientist and what they had to learn in school in order to do that. So I'm going to show you this real quick, and hopefully we'll be able to hear it. There are papers, right? Okay. So this is a local scientist at Sandia National Laboratory. And I don't hear anything. There's some sound on here. that were Native Americans. When I took my first mechanical engineering class, I was really amazed and interested in how I could apply the science that I had learned into calculating how things work in the real world. My job. Why did I become a scientist? Growing up on the reservation, I never met any engineering professionals that were Native Americans. When I took my first mechanical engineering class, I was really amazed and interested in how I could apply those math and science skills that I had learned into calculating how things work in the real world. My job as a mechanical engineer is to run computer simulations on different types of items. I expose these items to different conditions to see if they will survive the environments they are designed for. The best thing about my job is that I get the best computer systems and software programs to use. My job is challenging. I learn new things every day. <coughs> Having a solid foundation in math and science is very important to becoming an engineer. It's a big commitment and it can be challenging. Anybody can do it with enough hard work. For more information on Science Central, go to our new Science Central website so that's an example of one of our productions and let me uh, show you what how else you can search and what else you can find here in 